Hey, in this quick video, let's take a look at what it would take to pull something out as a sharp point uh, here in ZBrush. So I'm going to grab uh, something like this in my uh, light box. And normally, if you grab a move tool and let's uh, press X to activate our active symmetry. And if you wanted to make something uh, fun like uh, these ears let's you know let's say you wanted to turn them into elf ears if you try to do that by using the move tool you could see that it doesn't quite look um uh, you know as nice as it could and so there's a little trick that uh, you could do um to make things um to th have things come out really sharp like a corner or a sharp point right so if you grab your uh move tool or move brush and then go to brush uh, right here and I actually have mine dragged on the side so if I open up the brush panel um, I can scroll down there's something called curve right if you open this um, little um, panel in here there's a button called OccuCurve if you click on it and now if you try to pull a point by using the move brush you can see that it's creating a really sharp awesome looking point and this is a great way to uh, create things that need sharp edges or corners or you know if I wanted to I can make my brush larger and maybe pull her the chin out so keep that in mind it's very useful if you wanted to you can even probably use it on some sort of uh, beginning for hair you know you could do that so maybe that's a, a cool um, use for that and another uh, there's one more thing that I wanted to show you um, with this uh, and that is if you go into curve there's something called edit curve if you tap on it there's the um, graph of your uh, of your um, curve right so now if you wanted to for example pull something out very specific not maybe not just pointy but you wanted to you want to get a little uh, fancy right so let's say you wanted to pull out Maybe this is a tree character and you wanted to pull out like a, a tree stump, right? So to do that, um, all you need to do is just create a few more points um, on this curve. And now if you, for example, have an area that's flat on top, so maybe something like this, right? So my curve is going up and then it just flattens out. Um, now, if you pull something out, you'll see it literally is pulling out like a stump which is really cool and probably uh, useful um, during certain modeling, uh, you know, uh, techniques that you're doing. So keep keep in, keep that in mind. You can actually use move tool for more than just moving points. You can actually use it for almost like sculpting. And uh, let's get even fancier. So for example, if you pull out a stump, wouldn't be cool to have like a little bevel uh, around the edges, right? So to do that, we can come here and we can, for example, add even more points. And now at the base, we have this bevel, maybe something like this. So we have this bevel that then gradually goes up and then flattens out. So now if I pull out a stump, you could see that it's creating this really cool circle around, right? And that's, I'm having a little hard time to do it straight, but you get the idea. So then you can redynamesh it, you can smooth it, smooth it a little bit. You can even grab your inflate brush and just maybe puff this up a little if you wanted to. Just make it a little less um, symmetrical. So you can create some really cool uh, organic uh, shapes. So that's pretty much it. So uh, I wanted to show you this trick and I hope you found this video useful. Uh, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.